What is going on, YouTube? All right, who's ready to dig into a big old pile of bullshit? Well, I am. Well, I had fun doing this last month, so I figured, you know what? There's a whole new month of auctions on the wonderful Coach's Corner auction site. So I figured, let me run through these and see what kind of uh, wonderful gems we can unearth today. Let's see what we get. Look what we got right off the bat. Babe Ruth Game Used Cleats. Gotta be real. There's no doubt in my mind. Look at these. Hall of Fame worthy lot. Well used pair of black leather spikes. Used by Babe Ruth during the 1934 season. Yep, look. Given to Frank Crescetti. Uh, yep. And apparently he wrote a little note saying that these were from Babe Ruth. And it comes with a Jimmy Spence lifetime hologram that certifies it. Certifies what? I don't even see like the JSA uh, sticker or anything like that. Yeah. Bullshit. Those were not worn <laughs> by the babe. If you had a pair of of cleats that were worn by Babe Ruth in a real game. You would send those to Heritage or Hunt Auctions or Robert Edwards or somebody like that. And you would get some big bucks for that. Yeah. Not two bids up to 219. Definitely no good. Yeah, look at these. Pink Floyd band signed guitar. Pink Floyd hasn't been together in like how long? Those guys don't sign anything together, but they have a guitar. Yep. Look at this thing. No way in hell that's legit. You know how much that would be if that was real? Unbelievable. I love when they pull this stuff. Let's see. Oh, how about this? 1939 Cooperstown Hall of Fame. Look at it. Look at all those bold, beautiful signatures. They pretty much, look at that. They pretty much got the, yeah, they got the entire uh, 1939 class right there. All bold, beautiful black signatures. You know how much this would go for? Unbelievable. Look at that. Three bids up to 48 bucks. Oh, look, another baseball skin. They happened to find another one of these bad boys. Where was this in the last auction? Cap Anson. Yeah, bullshit. Cap Anson on a ball skin. Still bright white. They still haven't figured out that maybe if they want to fool people, they should possibly, you know, dirty it up. Something like that. Unbelievable. Cap Anson. You know how much a Cap Anson signature goes for? Uh, let's see what other happy horse shit we got. Oh, look. 25 pound box last last month it was a 35 pound box now it's it's just a 25 pound box abner double day signature yeah okay no way nope try again unbelievable oh look this must be the month of shoes look at that we got why is this going so fast look we got ted lyons up here joe namath Got a lot of cleats, everybody. A lot of cleats. Unbelievable. Pablo Picasso, autograph original work. That's got to be real. There's no way that's fake. Mm hmm. See, the interesting thing about Picasso is realistically, a little kid can make an image that looks just like this. Yep, and signed by Picasso. I trust the Picasso off of Coach's Corner any day. Forget about it. All right, let's see. <sighs> more and more jerseys every single month. Just... A million of these signed jerseys. Oh, look. Another shoeless Joe Jackson this month. <laughs> yep, let's see. Uh, and this one's on a ball. Here we go. Authenticated by 
Rare and Signed, which Rare and Signed is also on eBay's banned list of COAs. And look at how bold that signature is. You know, you never, ever see a Shoeless Joe Jackson signed anything come up in auctions. But Coach's Corner has them every single month. Look at that COA. I mean, that's the, that's that's horrible looking. Look at that thing. Like somebody folded it up, had it in their back pocket for a while. Astounding attic find. Yeah, I just happened to have a Shoeless Joe Jackson signed ball in my attic. And you know what? I think I'm going to send it to Coach's Corner. I want the most bang for my buck. You go, George Wright. You know, any George Wright signature I've ever seen is usually part of a letter or something like that. You know, this guy died back in the 30s, you know. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible to find a George Wright signed ball. I'm just saying that it'd be extremely rare, extremely expensive, and you definitely would not consign it to Coach's Corner. Josh Gibson, yeah. You know how rare Josh, Josh Gibson autographs are? He died in 1947, and they have a single signed ball from him. No way in hell. Can easily be seen from 13 feet away. This is a big thing with them. How, you know, what do they, they set up a walking wheel? They, they get the tape measure out. They want to see how far away you could see it. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it's a piece of shit and it looks horrible. Not impressing me, guys. Not impressing. Let's see what else we got around here. Wow, they got a whole bunch of single sign balls. Tris Speaker. Yep. That's just... <laughs> That's a joke. As somebody who owns a legit Tris Speaker autograph, look at how terrible that is. That P looks like somebody tried to draw it, gave up, and tried drawing it over it again. The S is insanely slowly drawn. The T is a friggin' mess. The whole thing's a mess. The whole thing. And I love how none of these even come with even fake certification. At least try to make a fake cert. Something. They're just throwing these balls out there like, yeah, it's real, guys. Trust us. Frank Chance. Another extremely rare signature. Single sign baseball. Looks like it was done with a big pen. Mm-hmm. You love... Nobody bidding. Nobody bidding at all. Look, you got Chance, Joe Tinker. We don't have uh, we don't have Johnny Evers, though. Rogers Hornsby. Let's see how good this one looks. <laughs> you know, they don't even try. Do, do they even look at exemplars before they forge this shit? That looks absolutely nothing like Rogers Hornsby's signature. Just terrible. Let's see who else we got down here. So many horrible autographs. So little time. Jim Thorpe. Another very difficult uh, signature to find. I've actually been, you know, over the years looking at Jim Thorpe signatures. They're always out of my price range. But, of course, Coach's Corner has one. Single sign ball. 15 feet away. Oh, so this is even better than the other one. Unbelievable. Let's see. Let's check out a Mickey Mantle and Joe DiMaggio signed bat. Oh, my dude. You guys see this? That is one of the crappiest mantles I have ever seen. I mean, that is just a joke. That's terrible. I mean, the Joe D ain't good either, but that mantle is horrendous. Be nice if it was real, but it's not even close. See what else we got here this month on the coach's Kona. <clears throat> Look, more cleats. More cle and I, I love these personally owned items. Janice Joplin sunglasses, Elton John's jacket, Whitney Houston, I'm assuming that's a dress. Because I'm sure those would definitely make their way to coaches. <laughs> That's awesome. They got a Wilson ball up in here. <laughs> Tom Hanks, Helen Hunt. I didn't even see who else they said was signing this thing. Yeah, we got Tom Hanks. We got Helen Hunt. We got Robert Zemeckis signed 
Wilson Bowl. Valued well into the hundreds. Alrighty then. I don't know about all that. Looks pretty funky to me. There you go. LeBron James. Shoes. The month, the month of shoes. Yeah, we got some crappy boxing autographs down here. Some footballs. Basketballs. Mm-hmm. Look at all these bands signed. Yeah, Prince, Paul McCartney. How about Apollo 11 astronauts? You know, we got John Wayne, another Pink Floyd piece, Rolling Stones. Just got everything. It's amazing. I, who are these consigners that own all this stuff and decide, you know what? I don't want these insanely rare pieces of my collection anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some money for these. I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Coach's Corner to take care of this for me. Yeah, we got some more musicians. Oh, how about a Tupac? Gotta have a Tupac in there. You know how rare Tupac's signature is? I mean, the guy was like 25 when he died. And it's not like he sat around signing autographs all the time. You know, look look up how much Tupac's signatures actually go for. And uh guarantee it's a lot more than the crap on here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that's real. Do you, you guys see what that says? This full color 8.5 by 11 photo shows hip-hop music icon Tupac Shakur standing shirtless and staring into the camera. More like wearing a hoodie and looking away from the camera. Do they even proofread this shit? I mean, it's bad enough they're forging signatures, but they can't, they can't even identify what they're selling. Standing shirtless and staring into the camera. I don't know what picture you guys are looking at, but it ain't this one. Failed. <laughs> it's a, th this shit cracks me the fuck up. Where do they come up with this stuff? There you go. Another Janis Joplin owned piece. So watch. Oh, we got some rings. They always have these rings. Always got championship rings. or Look like they came out of a Cracker Jack box. <clears throat> mm -hmm. three different picassos now they had the one picasso before and now they got three of them and a whole nother lot just everybody's throwing their picassos away it's not even bringing that one up who else we got <laughs> scarface Star sign poster. There you go. Another John Montgomery Ward. Extremely rare signatures of this 19th century star. And it seems like they got one up every month. Every single month. Yep. Look at that. Valued into the high hundreds. Bullshit. John Montgomery Ward signature. Even though it's a cut, that's that's definitely more like well into the thousands, not the hundreds. Sharon Tate. Well, I guess they had two Charles Mansons last month. Let's sh throw a uh, Sharon Tate in there this month. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's legit. Just, just ridiculous. Uh, let's see who else we got around here. John Wilkes Booth. There you go. Got to have a John Wilkes Booth in your collection. It's amazing. They're the only they're the only people that find these autographs. Only ones. Yeah, look at that beautiful John Wilkes Booth. This famous signature is from the 1800s actor. And, oh, yeah, killer of Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, no shit, because nobody would know that. 
Super Bowl 3x6. You can literally see the signature from 80 feet away. You know how far 80 feet is? Yeah. <laughs> Zero bids. I wonder why. How'd that happen? Wow, look at this. It's like a plethora of... Look at it. Like, you know, Jake... Amos Rusi, Albert Goodwill Spaulding, another Josh Gibson, Candy Cummings. You gotta be kidding me. You know how rare that dude's signature is? The inventor of the curveball... curveball they got his signature. You know, I, I want to just really quick give a shout out to um, my man Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. Dude, if anybody knows how rare a Candy Cummings signature would be, it would be you. How much do you think that would go for? Even even a little cut, how much do you think that would go for? I, I'd have to say like a minimum of like, you know... 20 30 grand or something and look at that nice bold ink unbelievable book value here is over a grand no that would be a lot more than a grand that is an incredibly rare signature i've never even heard of somebody that has his signature you got to remember too back in his day people weren't asking for autographs you know his signature would be on like a letter or something like that. Which, wouldn't you want the entire letter and not just this little tiny scrap of paper? Look at this. Buck Ewing, Dan Bruthers, Mickey Welch. I'll tell you what, Bill. You know, you want to complete your Hall of Fame autograph collection? Dude, you can do it all here. Right now. Probably get it all for under 100 bucks. Every single 19th century Hall of Famer where the signatures are impossible to find. Dude, they're all right here on these beautiful little cuts. Gotta be real. Gotta be real. Look. A whole nother line of them. Eddie Plank. Eddie Plank died in the 20s, man. You know, like, look, Happy Jack Chesborough. You're not going to find these guys' autographs around. And if you do find them, they're going to be in a ridiculously high-end auction. And they're going to get a shitload of money for them. Ed Delahanty, another one. What, he died in, like, 1903? You know, but we got his autograph. Jim Morrison. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. I'm sure this is real. Oh, and he wrote something too. Even better. Expose yourself to your deepest fear. After that, you are free. Jim Morrison. Yeah, go look up what real Jim Morrison signatures go for. Trust me, I am a huge fan of The Doors. And I would love to have Jim Morrison's autograph. Too bad this ain't it. And especially with a little poem attached to it mm -hmm. there's another one Jimi hendrix you know what do we got here another another poem here we go blues is easy to play but hard to feel Jimi hendrix i think these were all penned by the same guy i swear to god uh, hendrix is another guy i love whose signature i'd love to have these guys who died back in like the late 60s, early 70s, and were only in their 20s when they died, there's not a lot of this stuff around. There really isn't. But Coach's Corner will have this stuff up every single month. And like I said, not just the uh, signature, but they got to have the little poem along with it just to make it better. And how about John Lennon? A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much beautiful stuff they have here. Ah, more Al Capone. Last month they had his razor. Now they got a little letter. To my friend John Torrio. Thanks for the tip on the race, Alphonse Capone. Okay. So... If Al Capone really wanted to thank Johnny Torrio for a tip on a race, why would he write him like this goofy little letter? You just friggin' tell him. Why? Because it's not real. Harry Wright. Yeah, okay. That was the godfather of professional baseball. Very rare to find his uh, signature. But of course, they got it. Yep. Well, at least they uh, put a little effort into making this one look faded. 
as opposed to some of these signatures that are supposed to be a hundred years old and the ink is bold as shit. Mm hmm. Look at that. One bid, 15 bucks. The great Harry Wright. Oh, God. Let's see what else we got. Sam Thompson. Another great 19th century Hall of Famer. On a Christmas card. Oh, perfect. Right around that time right now. Merry Christmas. And a lovely winter scene on the front as is dated from 1928 on the reverse. I might be wrong, but I think I'm right. Sam Thompson died in 1922. How are you going to die in 1922 and sign a postcard or a Christmas card or whatever this thing is from 1928? Um, I think that defies the laws of everything. You got to be fucking kidding me with this stuff. At least do a little bit of research before you start forging this shit. These guys are amazing. You know what? I think that I think that's going to be all for today. Um, so let's thank Leith Trithol and Scott Malik of Coach's Corner for flooding the market with more fake autographs. Thank you guys very much. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. I'm out.